Okay, so this tutorial is going to teach you how to get your historical transactions out of QuickBooks and into Salesforce. So um, once you've set up the synchronization with uh, Salesforce and QuickBooks, all of your accounts will show up here in the account section. And you can just say, I want to see all accounts. And those will have all come over. Now the first step actually uh, starts in QuickBooks. So what you need to do is export all of your invoices out of QuickBooks and into Excel. Uh, I'm not going to show that right now because there are a number of different versions of QuickBooks and it's different the way uh, you get them out. But the end product and what it should look like is this. Uh, so at minimum, you must have the following columns. Customer name, transaction type, the transaction date, the transaction number, and the amount. Uh, you can include other things, uh, but uh, it, it, the bare minimum, you need these columns. Uh, I included sales rep, so if you're using that field in QuickBooks and you want to associate the right sales rep with that invoice uh, or that transaction in uh, Salesforce moving forward, you can go ahead and bring that, uh, that field uh, out in the, in the export. So once this part is done, we just set this file aside for a moment. And then we need to go into, uh, oh, and, and I, I think I mentioned it, but again, the format of this spreadsheet, excuse me, needs to be a .csv. So make sure that's how you save uh, the export. So again, we're going to set this aside. Uh, so now log into Salesforce and go to your Reports tab. Once you're at your Reports tab, you need to do an export. So we're going to do a new report. And we need to export all of our accounts. So these are all of the accounts that came in from QuickBooks. So again, I did new report. I found the accounts folder and I hit create. I want to remove all of these filters so I can be sure to get all of my accounts. So I'm going to choose all accounts. I'm going to remove the created date filter by just choosing all time. And here, are all of my accounts, right, based on this column. Uh, you don't need all of these fields. In fact, if you just hold down your command key and click on each of these columns that we don't need, you can just drag and drop them over into um, the fields uh, section column. So all we need is the account name and one other really important field, which is the account ID. So find your account ID field and drag it over into the report. So this is all the information we need to match up those invoices with their respective customer account. Uh, so now I'm going to choose to run the report. Once I've done that, I need to export the uh, the Excel ex export the report into Excel. Excuse me. So we choose export details. Again, very important that we keep everything in a CSV file if we're going to use it later for any kind of import or data migration. I hit export, save this file, we'll just save it to my uh, desktop for now. Okay, now I want to open this file. There we go, so here is uh, my export from Salesforce and now this is the tricky part so uh, hopefully you're pretty good at um, Excel because at this stage we need to do a VLOOKUP so what we're wanting to do is match this account ID to this company this customer so that when we bring it in to Salesforce it knows and recognizes that account ID okay so we're going to uh, let me see if I can adjust this so we can see both spreadsheets and make it easier on everyone okay so we're gonna add a column here called account ID this is how the VLOOKUP formula works you choose the first column this is what we're matching to do a comma then you find the other two columns that we're matching to from the other spreadsheet. We do another comma. And when it asks you for the column index, 
That is column two, A, B, one, two. So we need to bring this field over here. So we type in two, because that's the second column, comma again, range lookup. You want to choose false. Um, if you're using a PC, it'll give you the option of true or false. I'm on a Mac, so I'm just typing in false. And then I hit over the account ID. Now you can just drag this all the way down. If you double click on this, it will automatically fill them all in. So now what it's done is it's matched the Salesforce ID with the customer name with, uh, and all the other fields in this particular uh, um, spreadsheet import. Now there's a few other key things that you need to include. Uh, in uh, this spreadsheet in order for the uh, import to be successful. Um, and those things that you need to include, I'll show you what they are in Salesforce. There's fields in here that are required. Um, actually, this will work just fine. So the fields that are required are the opportunity name, the close date, and the stage. Uh, and if Again, we want the amount in and we want to choose that it's invoice. So we need to uh, make sure all of these are mapped and included in the spreadsheet. So to do that, again, since these are all invoices, we're going to make the stage on all of them closed one. Just bear with me. Let me find the correct file. All right. So we're here at back in Excel. So we're going to write stage and make all of these closed one. Again, highlight the field double click on that corner, populates all of them. Uh, the next thing we need is the, uh, what is the next thing we need? I believe, oh, we need an opportunity name. Um, so we want to name these invoices something relevant. Uh, what I like to do is concatenate uh, the fields of customer name, invoice, and the transaction number. So name, type, number. Uh, so I do that like this. So this is going to be the opportunity name. So I'm just calling it name. Hit equals and I'm using my concatenate function. And I choose this comma. We want a space in that and a hyphen. And I do another comma. It takes me to the next column, which is invoice. I do another comma. And then we want to choose the invoice number. Now I'm going to hit enter and you see it's going to automatically name it that. Here's the name of the company, that it's an invoice and there's the invoice number. I just double click on that again and it populates all of them. So these are going to be my opportunity names. Again, this is really good for consistency purposes. Uh, so once you've got all these pieces done, just save the file. And now we're going to use a really awesome tool that Salesforce provides uh, 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 to any level of Salesforce and it's free to install and it's called Data Loader. So you're going to go to their website which is dataloader.io log in with your Salesforce credentials you want to choose production unless you're testing this in a sandbox uh, but you're going to normally want to do production in the correct credentials. And the way data loader works, it, data loader works is it calls them tasks. So we're going to do a new task and this is going to be an import. Now there's three different types of imports. We're going to do an insert because we're creating new records. That's what insert means. These these uh, invoices are coming in as closed opportunities, so closed one deals. So that's what we want to choose. We want to choose opportunity. I hit next. I upload the file that I just saved. New version of that file. Count ID, transaction type matches. We need the date to map to the closed date. We need the number, the invoice number, to map to the transaction number. So I just start typing there and I see, find what I want to uh, map that to, which is transaction number. The amount, the sales rep, the stage, the name. Perfect. Um, again, make sure everything is mapped. Once you've got the account ID, you don't need the customer name. It already knows that this is that, that account. I choose next and I run the import.
All right, so it's showing me 77 successes, which means all of those opportunities came, all those invoices, pardon me, came in as opportunities. So let's just check that out. Log in here one more time. All right, so. I hit go and I should see all of those invoices. So here they all are. Uh, again, that is it. Uh, so there's some separate processes for uh, bringing in your line items, but this tutorial is just going to show you how to bring in your invoices uh, to Salesforce. If you want to do a, uh, you know, kind of a spot uh, uh, sanity check to make sure that they all are in there, I'll show you quickly how to do that. So let's just pick one of these. I'm just copy and I'm going to do a search for this. And there we are, making sure everything matches. We've got uh, the account name, which matches, that it's an invoice, the opportunity name here matches. The amount, which is 11000 right here. Uh, so it looks like everything worked just fine. Um, and that is how you do an, uh, a historical import into Salesforce from QuickBooks.